Good luck getting a new Honda this fall. We're over at Automotive News. Honda warns U.S. dealers of cuts in vehicle supplies. We could see a 40% drop in vehicle arrivals uh, this coming month. Now, I don't know how long this is going to go on. I expect this sort of drop in supply to be ongoing probably until early next year. Uh, and typ typically... Uh, customer demand drops after the new year, or right in the beginning of the new year, because people spend a lot of money on Christmas, and then they don't want to spend money on the beginning, uh, January, February, sometimes March. So this is just very interesting because a week ago, I or, or even less, I made a video on how Toyota is dropping by 40% exactly. So it's interesting that Honda is doing the same. Now, you could also make the argument that, hey, maybe they're doing it so they can have a great end of the year. Uh, where they can, you know, meet their their sales quotas, etc., for Christmas, for uh, November. Those are two really big selling months. September and October traditionally aren't the the best selling months in the auto industry. So it is possible that Toyota and Honda could be doing this to finish out the year real strong, uh, and just kind of take September as that month to kind of catch their breath get their supply up. Now, Automotive News is quoting this information from civic11.com, which I will be reviewing the new Civic in, in probably a month or so. I just have a lot of traveling uh, and the vehicle has been eluding me, but I will be getting it. But back to this internal message from Honda, but because COVID, of course, everything's COVID, blame everything on COVID at this point, uh, especially in Southeast Asia where they get a lot of their parts, it's really affecting uh, the parts manufacturing. So they can't get enough parts and that's also affecting everyone. But Honda is here to update its dealers, aka us as well when it gets out. So this was 825. Honda will start shaving production on a number of models starting this week. For September, we expect dealer arrivals to be 40% less than planned. And uh, if, if you're hoping to get a new Honda, well, with 40% less inventory, not only are you not going to be able to get exactly what you want, more than likely, you're going to be paying top dollar if that wasn't already the case. So uh, some of the models be more impacted than others, of course. Uh, they're saying supplies of the Pilot and Passport are going to remain steady. So if you were in the market for a Pilot or a Passport, lucky you. Production of the 2022 Civic Hatchback, which is being produced here in the United States, is still expected to get underway as planned in late September. So that's good. They're going to be producing it late September. Hopefully we can get our hands on it. Uh, by the end of October. It's just hard to say what kind of production volume they're going to have for that new Civic hatchback, but can't wait. Can't wait to drive it in the six-speed manual. That'll be amazing. Please note that Honda will continue to make current dealer orders a top priority. There are no plans to cancel vehicles previously allocated. Uh, so uh, this is interesting. I still have friends in the Lexus uh, sales business, and I'm like, hey, what's the percentage of the vehicle's uh, coming in that are allocated that are currently marked sold for a particular customer, aka ordered. Uh, and, and they said well over 90% of the vehicles coming in are already spoken for. So this is crazy that this is happening in the industry. And don't buy a new car unless you can help it because you're going to get charged up the yin yang. Now, I wanted to share this with you guys, some more Honda news while I got you. Uh, is it a mild hybrid, the next Honda Civic Type R? So they have this render. They've taken it from Magazine X, a different Japanese scoop site. We're at carsensor.net, by the way. And this is probably really close to what it's going to look like. I mean, the, the exhaust pipes don't look fully rendered here or photoshopped in, whatever you want to call it. But this... This looks pretty close to what I'm expecting the new Civic Type R to be. So Honda has declared that core models to be sold in Europe will be equipped with electrification technology by the end of 2022. So they're expecting that the Civic Type R will be equipped with a mild hybrid. They don't want to give it the full hybrid treatment, which I'm expecting to happen to the Integra. But for the Type R, which is more of a track car, they want to uh, make sure that it's a mild hybrid with a small generator, uh, also a starter, and a really small battery as well. Interestingly, the only Japanese companies that are doing a mild hybrid right now are Suzuki, Mazda, and Nissan. Now, they want to bring light to supercapacitors that Honda has been working on. It was in the previous fit uh, and the previous Vezel. So they're thinking that a supercapacitor could be in line for uh, future Honda cars 
potentially the new Civic Type R. So I'm not going to get my hopes up really for a mild hybrid. I think they could implement it for Europe. I just don't see them implementing it here in America quite yet. Uh, but for the Integra, which could share a lot with the new Civic Type R, it is something to wonder. And uh, who knows, super capacitors, that sounds cool. But I'm going to end it there. Smash the like button if you enjoyed today's news. I don't know who enjoys high vehicle prices and low availability of new vehicles. But if you enjoyed the update, I appreciate the like. Also, subscribe for more Honda updates like this. Uh, definitely stay tuned for Civic Type R, the Civic Review, the base Civic uh, 11 generation that I will be reviewing soon. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more Honda and Acura news like this. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.